say get in my gotti. I just listen. Pay attention. Yeah. He say get in my gotti. Go ahead. All right, let me get it going. Recording, so turn All right. All right, y'all. We're still in the hot takes. We're having a good time. I'm rocking with my boy Lito, yes, and we're sir. doing our thing. Now, we got a very, very special guest in the building right Woo! now. Y'all know I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. Legendary. 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 This dude is coming down here tomorrow night and doing a show. His credits go from Comedy Central, Def Comedy Jam, Comic View. I know him as an as a employee of Jingles 2000. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the, the Dolphins wow. are family, guy. The Black Dolphins. Get it right. Okay. He wrote Black opened Dolphins. up for Damon Wayans, Mark Curry. I mean, Come on, man. The Players Club. The list goes on. Don't be on. a menace, Baps. I can go on and on and $5 on. Five dollars, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> you ratchet. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. None other than my main man, Alex Thomas in the house. What's up, man? How you living? Clap it up, Alex. What's Thomas. up, boy? How y'all feel, man? I'm feeling you all good? right. How about yourself? Man, I'm excited. I have not been to Dangerfield in a month of Sundays. You understand <laughs> me? It's, it's been a while since I've been to Bakersfield, so I'm excited. Hey. Tomorrow night, my boy, uh, Evan Lionel's birthday. Woo. Mass, you know, he's from Chicago. Shout out. Uh, I'm from LA. And hey. man, I've, I've been rocking out with that dude for years, so I'm excited. Uh, I got a, a couple family members up there that are gonna come out to the show tomorrow night. So, hey, I'm re- hey man, I stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. You feel me? You about to come and unload the clip on Bakersfield. Now, you know Let's it's hot go. out here, right? Sugar free. Come on, man. I, I'm I'm an LA dude, and I know uh, I live in the valley. So the ten, it's always ten degrees hotter in the valley. Yeah, it is. And then when you go to Bakersfield, it's like hell. That's how hot. <laughs> like forty miles. <laughs> Last time I went to Bakersfield in August, I saw the devil drinking a Slurpee. I was like, damn. <laughs> if it's hot for him, Jesus. That's what he does. <laughs> Bakersfield is that cussing weather. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grandmas be cussing out here when they come outside. Right, here. right, right. <laughs> Shout out to C Mac Productions. C Mac. Main man, C Mac. Man, we love you, C Mac. I'm just thankful Absolutely. for you, man. Putting on for Bakersfield. Hottest putting on for comedy, comedy shows in the field. Yes, sir. You better believe it. Let see. me ask y'all this. This particular place that we're performing at, have they done any comedy shows there before, or will we be the first? Ooh, They did man. something in 1933 before. We've been doing a monthly out here. You said they did something in 1934. What did <laughs> you say? Nah. The place is called 1933. Yeah. Oh, we, I'm like, we, God we, damn, you dress up as sla- You dress up as slaves. <laughs> you dress up as slaves. To be a part of the theme. As bootleggers, you, you, yeah. You're, you're like, uh, yeah, Kuta Kente did a show there in the early slave days. Kuta uh, hosted by Chicken George. Kuta and, and shut uh, it down. Yeah. <laughs> they have slave night. Not <laughs> great. <laughs> now you got to bring a Tommy gun. A Tommy right. gun. Right. <laughs> no, nah, right. but uh, right. we've been doing monthly shows here. We had TK Kirkland last month. We trying to build okay. it up. We've been building shows, and we trying to bring big names that haven't been to Bakersfield. He said the same thing you did. He hadn't been to Bakersfield. I don't think he ever been to Bakersfield. So we trying to bring big quality most shows. Most of the time, most everybody I know, when I ask them if they've been to Bakersfield, they uh, they say like to pee. Like yeah, they were driving to San Francisco, truck stop. or do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, driving to Sacramento, and you had to stop at a truck stop to pee and get some chips. Yeah, and then they kept it moving, so nobody really hung out and break. Or they be on, you know they be on the run or some shit. Huh? Like, thanks, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Alex. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Just kill us. Just we, kill us. <laughs> we, we got love for the field, though. It's a cool, you know. You're going to see tomorrow. You're going to see the, the Oh, energy. I'm excited. I'm excited. Last yeah. time I did a show there, it was great, man. Great people, uh, great audiences, great crowds. Because, you know, it's not like they get a whole lot. So when they do go out, yeah. it's time to turn it up. Great you know comedy. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So yeah. excited they have to shoot someone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, I got a quick hey, question. Is there going to be extra security? Because I heard a, a lot of ex-retired bloods and crips are up there. So I hope they're still retired, no longer doing uh, drive-bys, hey. <laughs> no longer felons. They, now they, they got wives and kids. Uh, I want them to come in peace. They hung their khakis the up. and gangsters, come in peace, please. <laughs> they, they hung their khakis, then they all stars up. We're good. They're, they're in the witness now. protection program. Yeah, they're good now. Hey, yeah. see, see what I mean? I need to get home to people like this. Hey. What's up, little what's man? What's up? Man. That's trust. Say what's up, trust. I love it. Right? Little okay. legend. Yeah, now my, my son Legend, he's in the other room. His oh, name is Legend. Oh, wow. His son yeah. Legend. This, this is my pet. Well, this is go. my pandemic baby. He was born with a mask on. You were born with a mask on, right? 
Mine too. Yeah, so yeah. I did the same thing, Alex. Thought I was pandemic baby. Yeah, thought I was. Oh, you had a pandemic came baby. Came out also? of them. Yup. Yeah, pandemic all, baby. We all did. There was nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so everybody added a new one. Everybody got a new dependent. Yeah. Hey, hey, trust me, bro. I will be talking about it on the show tomorrow I night. I can't oh, wait. Yeah. Now I gotta ask I you a got question. Stories. I gotta ask you a question. Now yes. you, there's a there's um there's a storyline going on. It's a debate online about. A woman that gets mad for her her baby's father, he brings McDonald's to one kid. <laughs> but the other kids, they don't get none. What do you think about this? this is this a travesty? Hey, well, first of all, I'm just gonna be honest. Uh shout out to the to the people that did it the wrong way. Um <laughs> I was very fortunate to do it the right way. And uh I'm not gonna lie, if I if I was that little young dude, so I'm, I'm grown and mature now, but if I was in my, let's say I was that dude uh, with about four or five different baby mamas in my 20s, I would have been dropping off lobster to mine, <laughs> and uh, the rest of them get three Skittles apiece. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Them babies ain't got nothing to do yeah, with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My son is getting filet mignon, and them niggas is getting hubba bubba. <laughs> This nigga's eating lobster and they're blowing bubbles. I'm sorry. Right. I'm just being honest. Y'all ain't right, man. That ain't right. Everybody man. in here is going to hell for Y'all sure. Ain't right. Okay. <laughs> they can get some of the I'm butter sorry. sauce. Uh, now, what about the other kids as they watch them? Well, uh, well, uh, well, this dude right here, he's going to have like uh, silver spoons. Uh, I see all that silver in the back. <laughs> yeah, he's going to he be sitting at his own little shit. table. I ain't got nothing to do with your two other baby daddies that are in prison right now, okay? Yeah, it's fly over this, there. This little nigga right here is going to be drinking champagne with his chips. I'm oh, drinking. Okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Be this little be nigga right here is going to have ace of spades with a coffee cake. He already, he's gonna have. <laughs> he already played the violin, huh? And the grand oh, piano. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> No, he I'm serious, man. I'm sorry. I saw that. I saw that. But uh, unfortunately, I guess that's what they're doing out in these streets nowadays, man. I'm not mad at that dude. Now, now, if you're still trying to keep a relationship with the chick, then obviously, hey, man, bring them a couple of McNuggets also. Right. But, right. I mean, you get but if you ain't trying $10. to have nothing to do with her anymore, hey, man, they get Funyuns and, 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 and he gets salmon. <laughs> Yeah, seared salmon. Oh my God! Now what? Seared. What do you got going on right now? Um, any new projects? Any new things you want to plug? Yes. Talk to us a little yes. bit about that. Absolutely, I got the number one new animated series right now oh. on Netflix. Oh. We're the only black animated series on Netflix right now. It's called Motown Magic. Ooh. It's the whole, it's the whole history of Motown. Smokey Robinson's oh. executive producer. Oh. I'm the star of the show. I'm in every single episode. Oh, wow. My characters. Ooh. Yeah, my, my character's name is Jimmy Mack. I'm a red convertible 1965 Cadillac. Let's go. With Smokey <laughs> and, uh, cruising. Yeah, sm- absolutely. So, so it's the number one animated yeah, series on uh, Netflix right now. We're the only black animated series. So when you Google mm. Motown Magic, you're going to see a convertible 1965 red Cadillac, and that's me. And that's you. So I'm on every episode. Um, my book just dropped. I'm super excited. Oh, I seen that. I seen yeah, that. Man, it just cl- it's climbing right up uh, on the bestseller list on uh, Amazon right now. Funny don't stop, the and that's also stop. the name of my next one hour special. The funny don't that stop because I'm celebrating don't quit. this year. This is my 30 year. I'm gonna pull it out too. Pull the book out. Pull it out. We this seen it on that new reading rainbow. What'd you say? <laughs> I thought they featured it on that new Reading Rainbow show, the Reading Rainbow reboot. Man, they've been doing so much stuff. Here it is right here. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Woo, look at yeah, that. Look at the yeah, illustration, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm, awesome. a first, I'm, a, I'm a first-time author. This was my pandemic project. It's 63 pages. Hey. It's an easy read. Uh, like my girl Tiffany Haddis said here on the back, she goes, even if you can't read, you will love this book. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's really simple, man. It's just a simple setup, and then boom, and then it's the, hey. the punchline. I found an awesome. amazing, found an amazing hey, illustrator that was able to turn a ton of my jokes into animation, 
in illustration, and he did he did an incredible job, man. Hey. I'm not gonna. He I'm really, he really did. He really did. It's really impressive. It's an amazing. It looks really quality, high quality stuff. Oh, absolutely. And, and I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I went through some serious bouts of anxiety uh, through the pandemic because I was like, man, are we ever gonna hit a stage again? And I've been doing comedy 30 years, and this Ooh. was two years was the longest in 30 years that I had not been on a stage. Uh, right? Long so I was like, you. man, what am I gonna do? This dude slid into my DMs. Mm. Don't know him from a can of paint. And I was blown away by his artwork. And he was a fan. And he's like, yo, man, I want to turn a bunch of your jokes and a lot of your ideas into illustration, man. And it just went from one to two to three. Next thing we know, we had 63 pages. And uh, people are loving it all over the world. So tomorrow night after the show, I'll be selling the books. Hey. After my show up in Bakersfield. And uh, yeah, man. Clap it, it up for 30 years. Clap it up for 30 years of longevity in the game. I don't care what you've been you. doing. If you've been doing anything 30 years, I'm impressed by absolutely. it. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. It, I'm not going to lie. It's been a grind. Yeah. Uh, being in the entertainment business is, uh, is like a roller coaster. You go up, you go down. There's goods, there's bads. But for the fact that I have not been able to have to have a regular job in 30 years, wow. that's a blessing. Dang. You know what I'm saying? That's a flex right there. To do what you love to do what you love to do. Yeah. Man, I've told jokes all over the world, bro. I'm talking about from South Central to Jerusalem, to from Israel to, to Greece to Hong Kong, to all over the world. You know, it's just it's just been an incredible journey. You know what I mean? Now, what is the what would you say out of everything you've been through? Hook me up on one of the highlights of your comedy career. What was one of those moments was like? Man, like this is up there. Well, one of them, tr trust. What are you doing? What you doing, man? Ain't no big deal. No nudity. It ain't nothing. <laughs> my my uh, 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 my my wife is really light skinned, so that's why he comes off like <laughs> like 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 Lido could be the daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I'll say that. Uh, I got enough. Thing in Lido, the hey, Lido looked shook when you said that. He was like, I know. Right? <laughs> I had, to, I had to catch up with the pool man and be like, look here, nigga, what was you doing? <laughs> August of 2020, nigga, I need to know this. All right. No, but uh, one, of, one of the highlights as far as stand-up, I, I definitely got to say, hosting the Up and Smoke Tour, man. That was one of the greatest moments of my life. 49 cities, sold out every single arena in America. Me, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, East Siders. The, you know, Daz, Corrupt, Man. Exhibit, mm. Warren G. I mean, I it still goes down it. to this day as the biggest right. grossing tour in hip hop history, yeah. number one selling DVD of all time. Man. And uh, Dr. Dre just hit me up one night and was like, nigga, I want to do something different. I was like, what's that? He's like, Man, I want a comedian to host a rap tour. You know mm. what I mean? And, and this was in 2000. Yeah. Wow. And I had like three or four shows left on the Jamie Foxx show at that time. And I was like, Dre, I'd love to do it, but nigga, I'm on a TV show. Like, yeah. the first thing Dre said, how much that nigga paid you? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, huh? Just like that. And I told him the price. He was like, nigga, I'll double that. I'm like, hey, Jamie. Peace. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> Jamie said, you leaving us? Like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Smoke weed. <laughs> Uh, Jamie was a little upset with me at that time, but I wouldn't have did it if we don't. We only had three shows left on the Jamie right. Foxx show, right. and I had to do what was right, you know, best for me and my family at that time. Heck yeah! And uh, three shows left versus uh, making three hundred thousand dollars for two months of work with Dr. Dre and Snoop. I was like, "They got oh. about to buy me a brand new house." Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! That's yeah. dope. Yeah. Yeah. Now, last that question. Two thousand and one. This is the last question for you. What have you? After everything that you've done, what do you want to commit yourself to trying to do? What's your big dream project, your passion project that you just want to do something you may not have touched, that you want to touch, big lofty goal, anything? Man, I'm not going to lie, dude. It's like I've done a lot in 30 years, oh, you know, a pregnant. ton of TV shows, a ton of movies, stand up all over the world. It's like I love being a father more than anything Aww. right now, man. It's like something that, you know, I I, I was, I, I like I said, he's two, my daughter's seven, uh, 
My other son, Legend, is four. I just accomplished one thing that actually was probably one of the biggest feats of my life. And uh, we just shot a, a family Chase Bank commercial. Wow. Mm. That you're about to see every single Sunday during during football season. You know, I've booked a ton of commercials and TV shows over the years on my own. Dang, but it felt it. super great to be able to do it with your family. It was an actual audition when they wanted a, a real black father wow. to go into a bank and get a loan. You know, I guess Chase is trying to let people know black folks use banks also and shit, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and it just happens to be out of all the banks, Chase is one of the highest paying banks when it comes to TV, oh, yeah. movies, I'm and right. commercials. Man, they wanted a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. Look at God. Look at God. Look, Look at God. God. Look at God. I fell right in the pocket, bro. So, man. or put it this way, man. That little boy you just saw, two years old, he did one commercial, and he's straight for college now. Wow. That's how big it was. I'm not even going to lie to you. The commercial starts in about maybe like a month or something. That's but, so dope, man. <clears throat> yeah, so it was fun to do stuff together. Um, I'm about to do another one-hour special. My, my neck, my neck is special. It's gonna be called the Funny Don't Stop. The funny Don't Stop. So whenever you see the Funny Don't Stop, you know that's Alex Thomas. That's fire. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? And then uh, I have a, I have a few, you know, a, a film that I just wrote, another TV show that I wrote. So it's really doing my own projects. It's nothing wrong with what I've done over the years. I helped a lot of other people get rich over the years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wrote on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air for four years. Mm -hmm. You know, ninety three to ninety seven. I wrote for the Wayans family for years. I wrote for, you know, Jamie Foxx and a bunch of people. So it's kind of like it's truly my time. Wow. You know what I mean? There we go. So that's awesome, man. Well, thank yeah, you man. for that. Um, so your family and doing your own things. Wink your left eye if your wife is still in there with you right now. Absolutely, man. I, the, I was <laughs> so, when she so leaves, you give us the real answer. No. <laughs> no you, you, said my, you said my wife, right? Yeah, if she's in the room right now. Wink your left eye. He's <laughs> doing no. She's actually on the she's actually on the other side with the other babies, but man, that was the best thing that happened to me too, because I was a wild and crazy motherfucker. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Mm. Being a young black man in the entertainment business on TV and movies with and some LA. money. Yeah. I, I could have easily ended up being Mr. Marcus or Lexington Steele. Uh <laughs> if you know anything about black porn. Uh yeah, that's a whole nother show. Lexington Steele. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I, I was a, I, I was with, I, I was what you call a junior porno star. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't. Yeah. yeah, I had some... Yeah. I, all my boys are like, I cannot believe this nigga got married. I cannot believe That's that. That's crazy. Like, so I have... You, you're meeting a new man here, a family man, oh, and... Man. You know, but man, it, that's couch. why it took me a while, man. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready. Well, you know congratulations, what I mean? brother. Yeah, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And we want to let you, we're going to let you get to what you need to get to, man. We thank you for this little in-depth little interview Ooh, for some promo. We're going to put it up. We're going to make sure people come out tomorrow. We can't you wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to pop. You want to say anything oh, to him before be you go? Uh, hey, man, uh, Evan Lionel, happy birthday. Yeah. C-Mac Productions. Let's go. Lido. Lido. Myself. It's a Leo it's thing. Gonna, come on, man. Dangerfield. It's yeah. going to be crazy, Javon. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, tomorrow night, I need everybody in Bakersfield yeah. to pull up. I mean, you ain't got shit else to do in Bakersfield <laughs> tomorrow night. So you might as well pull up. And, uh, hey, make sure you guys watch my, my podcast also. It's called The Funny Don't Stop Show. Uh, we're going on uh, five seasons now, 162 episodes. Uh, we're on all wow. platforms. Um, yeah. iTunes, you know, uh, iHeartRadio, YouTube, The Funny don't stop show That's name of my funny. book the funny don't stop name of my one more of my my next comedy special the funny don't stop and alex thomas stop. man let's go hey we, we appreciate stop. you alex we give you your flowers me a little love you will see you tomorrow let them but respect we thank appreciate you. Yes, sir. you god bless god bless yes man. sir man see you tomorrow, i'll see y'all tomorrow let's do it right, thank man. you thank all you all right later all right